Hey everybody, welcome back to Tough Little Ranch on the Prairie. Um, we got a little bit of snow blowing in here today. We're talking four to eight inches of snow for us, I believe. So that's kind of exciting because we really haven't had much snow this winter. Um, but anyways, today I am back here by the chicken coop and I actually had, um, one of my aunts actually asked me if I'd be interested in any shredded paper for bedding. Um, there's a business in town that had They've got a lot of shredded paper that they need some more to get rid of it. So um, I've never used shredded paper for bedding, but I told her I would look into it a little bit. So I asked a couple friends and did some research online. And a lot of people do use it for, um, I guess the main things I looked at was for chickens and for pigs. I think the goats might be a little bit too curious where they might try to chew on it too much. So I don't think I'm gonna try using the shredded paper bedding for the goats, but right now I'm going to take some into the chicken coop and um, just spread it out for them, see what they think. I'm sure as soon as I take it in there, they're gonna go crazy and freak out and the guineas are probably gonna be super loud. We're not gonna be able to hear anything, but I, would, I just wanna see how it works for them. I've got, uh, I believe six of these big bags right now that I'll have to use up. So um, that's what we're gonna do right now is go in the chicken coop and spread this stuff out and see what they think of it. So I don't have a whole lot of chickens right now. My hens have gotten kind of old and we've lost a few. So I have chicks on order. So they're gonna be here early February, which I know is kind of early, but um, I wanna get them started early so that we can have some eggs by middle to late summer and uh yeah so look forward to that video in a couple weeks new chicks let me see if i can set this down That wasn't too bad. They didn't freak out about it too much. The guineas, we only got three guineas, but they sure are noisy for just being three animals. So, I'm just gonna spread this around a little. Probably put some in a couple of these nesting boxes and um, just kind of see what they think about it. We'll leave some straw in some of these nesting boxes just in case they really don't care for it. Um, then they've got the option to not sit in it. It spreads out really nice. It's not dusty, so that's nice. I'm um, sure as soon as I get to spread out a little more, I'm going to throw some corn out here for them and they'll start scratching in it and get it all mixed right in with the straw. I'm sure that it will break down and decompose just like straw does. This girl here is molting. Her feathers don't look very good. Unfortunately, it's just something we go through. 
They don't lay a lot of eggs. They lose their old feathers, regrow new feathers. And you can tell from the length of the toenails on these girls that they're getting a little bit older. But I still am getting a few eggs throughout the week, so uh, they're still earning their keep. There you go, hennies. Oh, right in the water. Go in the, go in the paper, girls. Kind of like when you're a little kid and you do that tokens in the paper hub. Chickens are searching for corn in the paper now. There we go, she's in there. She doesn't seem to mind it. The guineas seem a little bit concerned about it, but looks like they're going in too. So far I think it's going to work out just fine. Yeah, I think the paper is going to work out just fine. I think I'm going to go give some to the pigs now. And I've got some old produce to give to the pigs. So we'll give them some paper and then give them some produce and see what they think. Alright, here we go. We're going to give the pigs some of this paper bedding. They're uh, quite noisy right now. I think I got food for them. Not yet. Not yet. First you get the pigs, then you get the pigs. Eggs right away. All right, now I'm gonna get them some produce that I have, which they're really gonna like that. That'll make them be quiet for sure.
Look at some good stuff today. All kinds of old produce that we get from the grocery store. Stuff that gets expired or if it starts to get bad spots on it or something like that. They really like melons, strawberries. Probably some of their favorite things. You going for the cabbage, huh? Mango's just checking out the bedding back here. Now we got these little goats over here. These little girls. They're doing exactly what I thought the goats would do. They want to get in the paper. I'm going to leave these guys be for a little while and just see what this stuff looks like. I'm going to come back in after a little bit and <clears throat> we'll see what it looks like in here. I'm guessing they're going to have this stuff spread out pretty well. Alright. Yeah. You happy? You approve, Mango? And this produce will probably be gone when we come back in. We'll have this stuff destroyed. Yeah, you guys are happy now, huh? Alright, pigs. We'll see you after a little bit. Hey, I'm just out here in the barn doing nighttime chores and checking on the bedding the, the shredded paper that we brought up for the pigs and it looks like they're really getting it worked in they're getting it mixed in with the straw and their other bedding corn stalks mango is taking some straw here and adding that to her little nest back there it's really interesting to watch when they make a little nest like this it's I don't know, it's just amazing. They grab a pile of straw with their mouth and move it to wherever they want. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, the, the shredded paper definitely seems to be working. I mean, they haven't got it mixed in here a whole lot, but over there where, I think mostly where Mango lays, she's definitely getting it worked in there. Wilma doesn't care too much about it right now. She's just eating. And then Charlie's over here behind me. He's just interested in eating right now too. But I, I don't think that the shredded paper is gonna be an issue. They don't seem to care. You know, it's she doesn't carry it around like the straw that I've seen. Uh, but it, I mean, it seems like it's definitely just mixing in. And I don't think it's gonna be a problem once it once we get to the point of cleaning the barn out. Um, I think most of it's going to be composted down and it'll just disintegrate out in the field just like the straw does and the hay and corn stalk bedding, everything else that we use. You getting a good nest there, Mango? Half the time she doesn't even lay where the bedding is because she's got such a thick coat on her that she stays so warm. So she'll go lay where there isn't even any bedding. But at least she's got a choice. Lay where she wants. I did read online when I was researching the shredded paper for bedding that uh, for one for one sow, if you're using shredded paper versus straw, you would need 50 pounds more shredded paper per per sow than straw. Mango, be nice. You're all right, Charlie. So that's something to consider if you're looking into using one versus the other. You know, if, if you've got a source where you can get shredded paper for free or very reasonable cost, then I think it would be a good, good choice to use that. So also something you can use, you know, just like I'm doing, mixing it in and using two, a couple, two or three different methods of bedding. But uh, we're gonna go done with chores here in the barn so we're gonna head over to the chicken coop and we're gonna check on the chickens see how the bedding is looking for them 
<laughs> see what they got going on. And maybe we'll see if it's still snowing out there. The snow was coming down pretty good. And I came in into the barn a little bit ago. So we'll see what's going on outside. The way that the pigs are getting this stuff mixed in, we could almost put another bag in. We'll see what it looks like in the morning, how they got it all mixed in with the straw. And maybe we'll add some more bedding for them in the morning. Another bag of this paper. Well, as you can see, the snow is definitely coming down good now. This is, it's snowing harder than it did for our blizzard from last week. Head back to the chicken coop and see what it looks like back there and get them some, get the chickens some supper. So as of right now in the chicken coop, uh, it doesn't look like they have done a whole lot with the shredded paper. The lights in here are not the greatest, so I got my headlight on. But it looks like they've scratched it around a little bit. I noticed in the nesting boxes here, it doesn't look like they've um, doesn't look like they've been in those boxes at all that have the shredded paper in there. But there's only one hen sitting in there right now, and like I mentioned earlier, I don't really get many eggs with these old girls anyways so i don't think they really spend a whole lot of time in the nesting boxes so i'm just checking these guys toss some corn out for them but they didn't seem too interested in that right now their feeder is full i just got them some water so they should be good for the night we'll see what it looks like in the morning if if it looks really interesting or something which i kind of doubt that it will because it's shredded paper on the floor but um yeah i think it's gonna work so far i don't see any issues with using the shredded paper for bedding the animals don't seem to be terrified of it so i think it's gonna work out just fine we'll see what it looks like after you know after a little bit of time once it starts to break down and get mixed in with straw and the droppings and then you know once we take it out to use it on the ground as fertilizer usually we put the chicken chicken um manure i guess out in the garden which is just right next to the chicken coop here so we'll see what it looks like in there how it breaks down we can also just burn it too because this stuff is usually fairly dry if there's a lot of paper left in it we might just end up burning it but We'll see when we get to that point. So I'm just going to finish up my chores here. And I think, unless I do a check-in tomorrow morning, um, see what it looks like in here or with the pigs, might be it for this video of uh, using shredded paper for bedding. So um, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And please make sure you subscribe to the page if you haven't yet and click on that notification bell so that when we do post new videos, you will be notified of it. You can watch those new videos. And if you got any comments for us, post those. Share the videos with your friends and family. Uh, I know some of the stuff might be real interesting to different people just because it's not something that everybody deals with on a daily basis. So I'm trying to... Um, I don't know, educate people as much as I can. I know I don't really give a lot of facts and stuff in the videos, which I'm trying to remember to do more of. But uh, if you have any comments or anything like that, please make sure you send me a message and we'll see what we can do to make every, keep everybody happy with what we're doing here. So th once again, thanks for watching, guys. Those are just chilling. Got sunshine out here. Fresh bill. <laughs>